Yeah, that sounds good. Am I centered? Oh, you guys are yeah. centered. Okay. <gasps> I don't know. I'm just keep. I keep ruining it. Okay. Are we? Uh, yeah. Our audio is on. Fantastic. Hello, everyone. Welcome Hi. to the Nancy Drew game stream. We are playing. Hmm, if you haven't figured it out yet, <laughs> that game, Nancy Drew: The Secret of Shadow Ranch, and this is day two. <laughs> Hi. I know. Hey, I guys. love doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Right See, in front of her face. <laughs> That's awesome. <All> right. <laughs> See, like you're in HD over here, and then not HD right here. Yeah. So your hand just slowly. That oh, it's totally camera fine. is at least five years old. Yes. That's I don't right. even know when it we got it. Yes, we are very happy that we have test back. Shorty um, is gone today. Yes. I don't know where he went. But Shorty's, Shorty's on vacay. Right <laughs> <laughs> he likes us better, so it's fine. <laughs> yes. Holiday. Anyways, uh, we have a ton of announcements today, yeah. but the most important one is the prize that we're giving away today. Hey, um, is Liz Mania still here? Yeah. Liz Mania won. Oh, I see there you. you are, yeah. Hey, oh. Liz, Liz Mania, uh, you won yesterday's yes. prize. Check out your Whisper private message here on Twitch. And uh, get back to us anytime this weekend with your pick of your prize. Because you get to choose one item from Teespring. Ooh. And that's the prize for today as well. Ooh. And uh, to win today's prize, you need to be around during intermission. Because right before we go to intermission, we are going to ask you a trivia question mm -hmm. based on what you are watching in the game from today up until intermission. So we're gonna ask you a question. During intermission, you have a chance to answer once with an answer. We will randomly select from all the correct answers at the end of the party tonight, one lucky winner. And that winner will receive a choice of any merchandise item from our Teespring collection. Segway to that, uh, this weekend, okay, uh, this weekend, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just giving you like, bunch of messages uh, we also have a sale on our merchandise store on teespring 10% uh, off up until the end of day Sunday if you use promo code candy at checkout then you get 10% off and honestly I think I want to buy myself something because yeah. there's a bunch of really I want good the stuff Waverly there. duffel bag yes. so badly it's like I know. Oh, I know. You know. your school spirit like, yeah I really want I really want like one of the because there's a new um, item, I need to add it to like all the designs. But there's a slouchy sweatshirt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it I want looks that. so Comfy. cozy. Yeah, it has a not light, nice, large, wide neck, so it's like not choking you. Yeah. But it's just very comfortable fitting. Mm -hmm. Comfy, so, poofy clothes are yes. some of the best. Also, thank you, Andy Runner. I saw your I saw your comment. I like this one. It's very warm, warm and cozy. Uh, the code, yeah, the code is candy. How do we get to it? I'm assuming you mean Teespring. Uh, if you go to our website, herinteractive.com, and then go under merchandise. Yeah, shop merchandise. Click on that drop down, and then shop merchandise on Teespring. Click on that, um, and also the slideshow. The, the direct link is in the slideshow picture. <gasps> oh, my gosh. What? Oh, my gosh. Yes, we got your letter. That was that cute one that I showed you guys with the was drawing. that one over there? Yes! I still have yet to take a picture yes. of it and put it on the blog. Oh my so goodness, yes. I haven't gotten to it oh yet. Oh my gosh, awesome. I was like, oh, I, 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 okay. It okay. literally, I was like, because I checked the mail, and Look I was like this. running around, and I was <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. Okay. Well, it's super fun, so okay. thank you for sending. Look at this. Linda Pendolin. Okay. M oh, Millie. 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 Like I love Swenson. this one. Yeah. Okay. This one is iconic. Professor Hotchkiss. Of course. They're all iconic, but yeah. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Nobody ever gives this guy attention. Holt Scotto. This is a fantastic slideshow. I, I know. love this. <laughs> I love your guys' doodles. Yes. The next this, one's my favorite one. This is a great interpretation because you never yeah, see her in That's Hilda game, Swenson. So you don't I literally, like, you are so talented. Yes. We need to frame this one and put it yes. on the wall. <laughs> And then the beautiful hairline. I know. I love Taylor's that. hair. 
That was the cutest thing. It made yes. me so happy when we saw this. So I was like, oh, I love it so much. So yes. thank you so, so much for sending you. those. That was Limu Emu. Limu Emu, okay. Yeah. Because I remember, yep, at the bottom, P.S. I love your Twitch streams. My user is Limu Emu. That is awesome. I love that. Thank you very much for sending yeah, it. Us. Thank yeah. you guys for sending thing. in your letters and stuff when you do. It's really fun. To yeah, know, it's so. really it's a really special thing to receive nice things like that in the physical mail. Mm -hmm. yes. Because with today's age, it's all digital. It's like I'm gonna send you a birthday message in Skype, yeah, or something. Yeah. But getting like nice things in the mail, it's really it's still really fun. Yeah, it's especially like, like, like you know, artistic yeah. stuff that you're like. You know, you we know you spend a lot of time on it. So yeah. thank you so much. Like, that was really sweet. Like you put your hand and your heart into it, and that makes it so special. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Sorry. Um, anyways, I screamed. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I know who you are. It's so fun. It made me so happy. Yes. Um. Okay. If we are playing a drinking game, it is just for fun during this party. So what happens is every time we see, hear, or Smell across. Or Come yes. across. Smell. Yes. You see here or smell. Smell. Dirk, Dirk Valentine. <laughs> Dirk Valentine. Any combination of Dirk or Valentine that you see in the game or we talk about it. What do you think Dirk Valentine drink. smells like? He Old. smells like dirt and I was thinking like musty letters like musty when you like an old letters. bookstore. Yes. <laughs> like when you go and you open an yes. old book and it's like Oh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> like, it's not awful. Yeah. This is going to sound really, really, really weird. I think he smells like Ritz crackers. Yeah. And here's yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> because later in the game, I'm sorry, this is a tiny bit of a spoiler, but not really. Later in the game, we learn about crackers that Francis likes. And every time I see those crackers, I, I, think, I think about Ritz crackers. So, I don't know. What he smells like that. <laughs> I thought you were saying Ritz crackers because they're kind of like they're buttery, flaky, crispy. They're very just thick. really good. <laughs> no, that's not how I would describe crust. them. <laughs> yes. It's anyways, Damn. anyways, it's anytime so he comes up, we take uh, a drink. Uh, what do you guys have to drink and snack today? What, what do you guys have? Oh, it smells like horses. Mm. Yeah, oh, that would actually make a lot of sense. I mean, it's not a terrible smell. Mm -hmm. it, it smells it depends worse. On <laughs> I don't know. Is there what like a specific area of the horse that you're smelling? Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's. Maybe oh, he's... thank you for the song! Oh. Phantomus you know, 1990. I think, I think I need to work on setting up the tiers for. Because Twitch did an update since the last time we streamed, and I haven't like set any rewards or levels or anything like that. So, I mean, thanks for subscribing. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Coco Kringle yeah. Cat is a bunny. Yeah, thank you. Water and carrots. <laughs> nice. I got orange juice with me. Nice. Yeah, Wendy Bird, good old H two O here as well. An oversized bottle of Diet Coke. Diet Coke. That's nice. not an oversized. That would be. I'd be impressed if you um brought in a, a liter. liter. Yeah, <laughs> I would Just put it past that myself. <laughs> Listen. Yes. This is a liter. You mean two liters? What is that? What you call the big fit? Right two liters. Like the two liter. Okay. Well, anyways, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mentioned the prize. I mentioned. Okay, please don't give it any spoilers out well, for those who haven't played oh this game. Oh my gosh! Well, Holy cow! I don't know how you gift a tier one sub when I think they're free. I don't know wow. what they are. Well, well thank you. Thanks. Yeah, regardless. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Phantom. And we got we got an emote. What kind of emotes do we have? On we don't here? have emotes yet. Oh, we need to because we haven't like reached like a, what's the first uh, level. It's not affiliate, oh, right? Yeah, it's affiliate. We haven't unlocked the ability to have How? a remote. Unless they've changed it. I need to spend some time it. researching Twitch. <laughs> All the changes that they have done, I've not yeah, really caught up on. It's like complicated. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe <laughs> we'll have that you know, those perks for the next stream in the future. Perks. perks. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. So <laughs> we'll finish with the rest of the announcements later. Yes. Go ahead and get on our headphones. We're going to pick up where we left off. Oh, Jai has, uh, I guess you weren't here yesterday, but Jai has moved on to her next adventure. Yep. She's on new adventures. Mm -hmm. Bigger adventures, actually. Yeah, but you never know. Maybe she'll join in chat today, so who knows? And if so, then hello, Jai. <laughs> Yeah, I oh, I was like, what is I am Bragel? <laughs> Lamb, Lamb for you. I am Bragel. <laughs> and you know, that's a great idea. Fancy dress. Jackets. Those might be pretty pricey. 
leather jackets or something? What, like Hulk sweater jackets? Jackets? Ooh, that'd be so cool. Waverly. Oh, no, Waverly. I just wear Waverly everything. Yeah, I know. I would literally wear the school uh, uniform. Yeah, and <laughs> go, you guys, if you have ideas, like, what kind of designs you want on merchandise, uh, go to the Amateur Sleuth blog and post your comments there. I love seeing what you guys are requesting because then I get to make them and add them to the store. And I'll give you a heads up. We are working on some new merchandise in the future. <laughs> One of them will involve a full-on bed comforter as opposed to the fleece blanket. That's hmm. pretty exciting. It is You a can have an pricier. entire Nancy bed yes. dress. Yeah. Like, you know what a comforter is. It's like the fluffy blankets yeah. that go on top of your bed, not just the fleece the thin ones. blanket. It's a little pricier, but it'll be fluffier. It'll be nicer. What are we doing? Great. What are we doing? Oh yeah, as you. I haven't done. I haven't done that. I haven't done. Can't check that off till it's done. done. I, haven't, I, haven't, done I haven't done that yet. Well. Well, it's a new day. Yeah. So we let's just woke like, up. Yeah. Time I don't to know go where. Look After stuff. poor short. <laughs> <gasps> we can snoop through his stuff. Oh, yeah. Snoop. I want to know what he was cooking. Is he? Is it empty? Aww. What do you think he's cooking? Well, he's yesterday was lamb ragu. What's cooking? Yeah. Is that every day? Is that an everyday thing? He's always stirring the pot. <laughs> That's like you with Chipotle. I am. <laughs> every day, lamb ragu. Every day, every day, Chipotle. Mineral deposits? What? Map of known mineral occurrences. Shadow Mountain and surrounding area. Pub 893A. Southwest Geological Survey. Ooh. A phone number to call. 520-555-7395. I always appreciated the the uh, very simple phone numbers because mm -hmm. I cannot remember. <laughs> Eighty miles to Phoenix. No wonder why Dave keeps complaining about the long drive. It's that's a long a few way. hours. Yeah. It's a few hours drive out of the way to go to the airport. Sunny June, really. <laughs> Kringle Mountain. Kringle Mountain. I want to go there. Rutherford Peak. Prudence. Prudence has an own mountain. Um, Lollipop Cutie Pie, if you're talking about the comforter, no, it's not on that. It's on our site yet. It's in the works. Yet. We're working on it. It hasn't released yet. Mm. Tumbleweed, Three Anvils Peaks, Shadow Mountain. Okay, so Shadow Ranch is located under Shadow Mountain somewhere around here. Hmm. That okay. would make sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I help you find something? Ah! No, actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long-lost gold mine or two around here. But like most of my get-rich-quick ideas, it didn't pan out. Apparently, there's no gold left in them thar hills. <laughs> or silver, <laughs> or <laughs> copper, or anything else. Now, I don't ever want to catch you in my stuff again. Me, me, me. Okay. Sorry. Hey, oh, what are you making here, for Nancy? your boyfriend I need for elbow Valentine's when I cook. Day? Sorry. Nancy Drew Clip 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 Clip. Oh my gosh, Nancy yes. Clue Crew. It's hard to say. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to apologize. No, we don't. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. <laughs> Have you been out to the pump house? Wow, All the water that. to the ranch house has been cut off. The livestock will still get water from the windmills, but we humans are going to have to get every single drop of water we use from the faucet in the pump house. Aww. And that's going to be a royal pain. Why can't that darn Paul horse Shorty do its cursed thing somewhere else? Do you think he actually ever finishes, or is he just literally he's stirring the pot the whole time? Like, maybe, maybe he's like preparing like soup kind of stuff to put in the fridge, and we never see him leave. Yeah, yeah. he could be oh. he could be boiling down homemade chicken broth. Exactly. Four For years later, seventy-two <laughs> hours. <laughs> That's what I mean. He literally is like. You yeah. really think well, what happened to the pump house was chicken the chicken result broth, of yeah. bad luck? I saw the pipe. It was rusted through. That's why it burst. That and bad vibes from or, that yeah, equine plot banshee. Twist, the pot is empty. Right? <laughs> yes. Got any chores you want me to do? Do lazy. exactly what you did for me yesterday, and I'll be forever grateful. Start by picking all the ripe stuff in the garden again. Baskets outside. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We can go do some chores. But first, I want to call the geological survey. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Oh, oh it adds it. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. I love it. So that doesn't always happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, SWGS. This is Gaza. Hi, Neutron. my name is Nancy Maybe? Drew. Maybe? Not too Maybe? long ago, you provided this person I know with a map that showed the locations of mineral deposits in central Arizona. That's what I'm here for. 
Is it unusual for an ordinary citizen to request a map like that? Depends on which map it was. The number on it was PUB893A. Publication 893 Alpha. Let me get it on my screen here. <laughs> yeah, that's a map somebody'd use if they wanted to go prospecting in their spare time. What's this person's name? Uh, Shorty Thurman? Shorty Thurman. Yep, there he is. According to my notes, he just started a job in the Shadow Mountain area and figured he'd go looking for gold on his off hours. You keep notes on all the calls you get? In a bureaucracy like this one, you never know. When something goes south and fingers start pointing, it's always good to have your side of the story all nice it's and the first word I think I've, like, yeah. paid attention to, or, like, <laughs> How likely do you think it is that Shorty will find any gold around Shadow Mountain? Oh, he might oh, find whatever. another two, but from the looks of the maps I send him, any ore out there would be of such low quality that attempting to extract gold from it would be pointless. That's interesting. What is? Apparently, this shorty person asked me if I knew anything about <gasps> Dirk Valentine's treasure. Really? Do you remember what he said? As I recall, he'd heard a rumor that some outlaw had buried some kind of treasure near Shadow Mountain. He thought it might be in an old mine shaft or something. Like and the way he what talks. did you tell him? <laughs> nothing. I didn't know anything about it. Well, thank you, Geza. No problem. What did you say your name was again? Nancy... Drew. Nancy Drew. Asked a lot of questions. Didn't buy any maps. <laughs> but she really appreciated your taking the time to talk to her. Be sure to put that in your notes too, okay? Got it. Goodbye, Miss Drew. Bye. <laughs> yeah, Geza. Sounds like he's narrating something from the 1940s. Yeah. You know where else think of that too? <laughs> Oh, James Gunn, can you sniff your music? Oh dear, can't oh. take vegetables with a snake rattling nearby. Nope. There's a snake in my... There's um, a snake in my... Vegetable. <laughs> Easy feed. Snake Lift in my... Lift tomatoes. Well... Where Dave is. I want to okay. feed the chicken. <laughs> Fucking all those chickens. chickens. Oh, no trespass. I better not go in there until I call the sheriff. Break down the door, Nancy. Yeah, go in there anyway. you ever ask. Right. No. <laughs> yeah, Dark Souls. Bring right the Nancy. This is Nancy <laughs> Drew. I'm the one who's staying at Shadow Ranch. I remember. In fact, I spent a good part of last night out there. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for Sounds you? Like Would it be all right if I looked around in the pump house? <laughs> sure. I'm all done in there. Is? Should I have my deputy take that sign down? Mind my asking why you want to look around? Why are you being Wait, so logical? I, Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur detective. I don't know. Dave seemed to be real impressed today? with you. In more ways than one, I might add. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Alright. Can't, can't check that, can't check that, can't check that. Oh, what a mess. Oh, oh water is just everywhere. And it's muddy. Looks like the pipe is pretty badly oh, corroded. Oh, yes. oh, nice. Sweet. How many do we have now? Six. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. oh. That's the one you just grabbed. <laughs> it was so much darker in the other one. Oh, yes. we're going climbing. Down here. It's kind of nice and claustrophobic. I know. <laughs> I would not be that brave. No. Especially when you have no idea where it leads to. It's uh -huh. like. Mm. Dave? Well. Well, where did you come from? Well. <laughs> Stand there gaping. I know. <laughs> where did you come from? Well, see, well, I just, I mean, <laughs> like I'm Disney. looking for Dirk Valentine's treasure. How long oh, Dirk have you Valentine. known Dirk Valentine. Couple of years. See, my great aunt Ellie was Francis Humber's cousin. When she died, she left me a bunch of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Francis. In the letter, Francis said that Valentine, Valentine. had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere oh, no. and wanted <laughs> Francis to find it by following the clues he left for her. Francis was real smart, see, loved puzzles, Played the piano pretty good, too. Anyway, after Valentine met his end, Francis was too broken-hearted to care about some treasure. She told Aunt Ellie that if she could find it, she could keep it. I also found this picture. That's Francis's father, Sheriff Merrill Humber. There's something written on the Isn't back. The Stairs to there? cellar. That's Francis's handwriting. Oh, Looks like the other half green of the message got torn under. off. I was under hoping that the treasure the might be under the stairs in here, but no such luck. 
I didn't know this place had a cellar. As far as I know, no one does. The entrance is secret. These stairs lead oh. to a secret door behind the bookcase oh. in the den. So many secrets. I love it. The Raleigh's never mentioned a secret door. The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid that if I told them, they'd... See, my brother's dead broke. No job, health's bad. Aww. I was thinking if I could just find the treasure... Okay, now I like him. I understand, <laughs> but now I'm I in kind of an awkward position. Job. I know, and I'll tell them, really? I swear. Soon as they come back, they got enough on their minds right now. Yeah, you guys, it's really see, CZ has not played this game. Yes. So, so it's all new to her. <laughs> I have not, but I know who is the culprit. That's, well, okay. Yeah. You haven't been using <laughs> a phantom horse to try to scare the Raleigh's off so you can hunt Valentine. for Valentine's Valentine. treasure in peace? I don't know anything about that horse or any of the other stuff that's been going on around here, I swear. Now, right. if you'll pardon me, I need to tend to my chores. A likely story, Dave. No, wait. You don't have to leave. No. Don't go, Dave. <laughs> Stay. Stay. So I want to look. Who's looking at dirt? Look, dig there. No. Acid. Wonder what somebody's been using that for. Oh, for funsies. <laughs> they have science projects, you know. <laughs> just, you know, kind of and... Chicago Mercantile Purse. Company. Did any of you guys have like one of those class purses, beaded class purse? Yeah, purses when I was like four and like yes. put like the one penny I found on yes. the ground. On it. It like, oh my gosh, I'm rich. Yes. <laughs> I put jelly beans. Oh. <laughs> Because the class were those like those metal knobby things, and my little fingers were not strong oh, enough. Yes, you so twist close it, it or open it closed or open it. Yeah, it was always like it was painful almost. Yeah, yes. I didn't even get to come, yeah. Something's missing. Oh. I know, I can just picture it. <laughs> it sounds adorable. Um, what was it? I wanted to do... Yeah, I wanted to do it this way. Maybe the message on the pictures refers not to the stairs to the den, but to these stairs. <gasps> Big brain. Big brain. Yeah. Hey! Whoa! I love Slayer puzzles. Yay. So, Ninja okay. Shrimp, you had a little mermaid purse. Ninja Shrimp, you had one too? Coco Pringle Cat. with animals on it and you would put rocks that you collected in them all <laughs> whoa that was fast there's something inside um no we don't have a date or name i am glad that, that you are getting your uh, picture painted wearing your favorite shawl it, it will be a beautiful we'll painting because you look beautiful in that shawl i forget the name of the stuff. stitch you used to make it but i think it is amazing that you yeah, learned how to knit a whole Where? shawl just by oh. reading one book i it's wish him. i could put my mind to things <laughs> like you can I am also glad that you like the handbag that I got you. I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture the beads make. I want to know pretty, all the things picture. that you like so that I can make sure you always have them. I figure that way you will always want me around. Aww. Meet me on Friday at noon by the big picture rock. I love you, Dirk. I like how I in this game, Jenny. like all the letters are read out loud instead mm -hmm. of being yeah. for yourself. It's yeah. just kind of fun. It seems like personable. Yeah. I like how I actually knew Dirk. Mm -hmm. Remember when we were in Cappy's eating the crackers he ordered special from California? And you said that from then on, the crackers would be your favorite because they oh, would always remind you of me? Well, I met a trader yesterday who had a whole I wagon full it. of them, and I bought you Just four teams. I, really like I also bought a rock from him <laughs> because doubt this were... rock has been polished to show a Things picture that looks just like the landscape by one of our meeting places. He called it an agate and said that the picture was made by nature, but it looks so real I can hardly believe it. I am thinking of a way to surprise you with it because it is as special as you are. Mm. I will meet you Tuesday at 3 by three the Three-Armed cactus. cactus. Your father has people watching for me all over the county. I guess you got some of your smartness from him. I love you, Dirk. Aww. I still don't know how you got a whole cake out to our last meeting place <laughs> like you did, but it was the best thing I ever ate. And the prettiest, too, mm. what with that fancy flower you put on it. Now I think it is the best cake recipe in the world, too. <laughs> but nothing is as good as getting a letter from you. Whenever I see a flower like the one on your favorite letter, paper, you have a cheese I think shirt. of you. Can I, have I only it? steal <laughs> from awesome. people who have plenty of money to begin with and deserve to be robbed. But if I could start over, I would forget about them 
and be a rancher or a farmer or miner or shopkeeper or whatever you wanted me to be, just so we could always be together. Be at Charlie's Grave at sunset this Thursday. I love you. <laughs> the music Dirt. is catchy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a ton of clues to Francis' favorite flowers. This way is so What a nice view. Seriously. Of all the stuff. Looks like I'm back in the den. Yes, Mark. Okay. We're talking okay. Shorty. Oh, Shorty! Oh, which oh, which shorty. one is it? Which book is it? Which one leads us in? Oh, it is set. This one. Oh! Hey, yes! Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, I just wanted to see which one it was. <laughs> like, Surprise! I wanted to, it to be Desert Desserts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yesterday that I really liked. I think it would be. What would be a desert dessert? Um, cactus juice. Cactus juice <laughs> milkshake. <laughs> Isn't that agave? Tumbleweed. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Tumbleweed. Oh, oh, like, you know those the bird's nest things that you make with, too. like, pretzels and, like, caramel? Maybe. Hello, Nancy. Yes, I'm going to be blushing every time I see you now. Tumbleweed, Tumbleweed tiramisu. tiramisu. Yeah. Because of that cellar thing, Tumbleweed you don't tiramisu. have to be embarrassed <laughs> as long as you level with the Raleigh's like you said you would. Actually, I'm kind of glad you came by. Something I need you to do oh for gosh. me, if you wouldn't mind. You bet. This chicken coop's been a thorn in my side ever since I got here. Hey, the wire I need to right? fix the hole in the fence was supposed to be delivered yeah. today. But it's not here yet, and the Raleigh's just called and asked me to run an errand for yeah, them tonight. Like so if you could things. keep an eye out for that chicken wire oh, and patch that hole as soon really? as it gets here, the chickens and I'd really appreciate it. Will the wire like get here before it gets dark? It doesn't look that way. But they you still have like to put it up, even if it means working at night. Just be sure like to wear gloves. <laughs> I'll leave my pliers out. If you have to do it at night, that's okay. There should be plenty of moonlight. You'll be able to see fine. Just make sure it gets done. Because we'll if it doesn't, the coyotes together, are going to have dessert. themselves one heck of a banquet, and you're going to be in a Ice lot of hot sandwich. water. No problem. Ah, that's now, funny. <laughs> is there something I can do for you? Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is so I love what was the, the jail that Dirk Valentine back. stayed in after he was arrested? Prickly do you have any idea? Probably the it. one over in Dry Creek. What? It's a ghost town now. But the jailhouse and a couple other old the buildings are still standing. Jelly. At least they were last I, I saw. Has anyone ever had anything remotely like that? Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Check it out. <laughs> you should put it on the front of the door. Prickly pear cactus jelly. I think we need to order this. I think so. We need to order it and try it. Yeah, yeah. it's ex it? 10 bucks though. Mm. I just want to put it on some toast. What's in it? Prickly pear cactus. That's a thing. Organic lemon juice, pure know. cane sugar, citrus pectric, pectin, and citric acid. Very huh. simple. They have those, um, it does wow. sound pretty good. Those too. scorpion lollipops. You know what I'm talking about? Were those like an actual scorpion? No, uh, thanks. I don't want that. Yeah. I've seen them, yes. Yeah. Is it far from here. Yeah. On your way to Mary Yazzie's, look for the <laughs> trail right, on yeah, your I left that heads towards like, Shadow <laughs> Mountain and stay on it till you get there. It's about an hour and a half's yeah. ride. This got something to do with the treasure? It might. Well, let me know if you need anything else. May I see that letter you said Francis Humber wrote to your great aunt? Sure, got it right here. Sure, when got I heard right you here. were a detective, I started keeping it on <laughs> me. Eager. Thought you might snoop through my stuff or something. Thanks for letting Ooh, me see uh, it. So you've tried it? What is it like? Wait, who's tried it? Gardenia Rose. <gasps> Dearest yeah. cousin Ellie, my beloved Dirk, Dirk. is no more. Dirk. Dirk. I shall Dirk. never see him again. And now you will never see me again, for I am on my way east, there Her to spend the rest of my beautiful. life. I know. I will never return to the territory of Arizona, <laughs> not, not even list. when my father, whom I despise with every part of my being, also has left this earth. Like a poet. But know this, know. me, Ellie. Dirk told Dirk. me that he had hidden something of great value, and that when all was in place, he would start me in pursuit of it. He was forever inventing fanciful ways to tax my brain. Dearest cousin nope, Ellie, nope. No. he was quite clever himself. No. <laughs> then, thanks to my father, he was arrested. Perhaps he wrote me from jail and his note was lost. Mm -hmm. Or perhaps he grew to hate me. 
But he never told me how to find what he had hidden, and I am too heartsick to care. If you can somehow Ten find it, eight. it's Ten yours, eight. my dear young cousin. Know too that I miss you terribly and always, always will. Francis. Sorry. P.S. Enclosed is a picture of the vilest man on ever born. <laughs> Oh, all right. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Oh. Okay, can we eat the vegetables now? Oh. Oh. How are we supposed to do this there? Can't check that off. Let's talk to George, who has a book oh. on in yes. vintage Victorian wear. And oh. Oh. Stuff. Hello? Where are you guys? You've got to get out here. I saw the Phantom Horse last night. Know what we saw last night? The inside of a motel room in St. Louis. St. Louis? Our plane finally took off at seven last night. We didn't call you because we wanted to surprise you. Only the next thing we what knew, an unfortunate. we were being delayed in St. Louis <laughs> on account of bad weather. So the Delay airline put us up at a motel. Then... But when we came back to the airport this morning, yeah, guess what? Yeah. You're fogged in. We're fogged in. <laughs> I have never seen fog this thick. Visibility's three feet top. You can barely drive in this stuff, let alone land and take off. Let's change the subject. So you saw the phantom horse? Mm -hmm. Last night, right after the campfire, this glowing horse appeared out of nowhere, then Can went go galloping crazy? away. Yeah. And horse right after that, no. the main pipe in the pump house sprang a leak. Another case of bad luck? I think not. So while everyone's attention was on the horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. First a rattlesnake, now this. Yikes. Wow, we wow, got yeah. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. How come we couldn't talk about this yesterday? Right? Like, what do we need? Is it just something? I know. The Raleigh's? <laughs> no, and believe me, I've been meaning to ask. Well, Dave Gregory, he's the foreman, and he's very cute, Bess. Hey, why don't you know it? <laughs> <laughs> I caught him secretly digging around in the cellar. He knows about oh, Dirk Valentine's Dirk treasure, too. What about the other cowboy? Oh, right. Tex Britton, the head wrangler. I'm pretty sure the Raleigh's fired his sister when they lived in Phoenix. He got upset when I asked him about it. Which means you touched a nerve. Which means he could be sabotaging stuff at the ranch to help his sister get back at Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. Better keep an eye on him, Nancy. I found a half-burned note that had a bunch of gibberish on it in the fire pit. Gibberish? Like a code? Ooh, that could be why snow. someone tried to burn Sorry, Wendy so Bird, no that one else at the ranch fun. would ever know what We had snow said. a couple weeks Maybe ago, it and it was about the sabotage. Yeah, it was a little treacherous. A little treacherous, but short-lived, so it wasn't oh. too bad. That's just what I was thinking. So just find a way to decode that message, and you'll be all set. Mm -hmm. I found a green bottle with a bunch of love letters from Dirk to Francis inside. Love letters? I love love letters. <laughs> was there anything in them about the loot he'd stashed for her? No, but there are Dirk. references to some Dirk. of her favorite things. And since the letter that Dirk wrote to her from jail mentions that her favorite flowers will help her Hello, find the treasure, um, they might help you figure out what they are. We're stuck here George. while you get to read love Maybe. letters? Okay, oh, George. The, I'm the quiz. Caroline, yeah. both airports, Who are you? and the weather service. Nancy. You're Nancy. Yeah. You're I, George. I think I was Bess. So there's a quiz on BuzzFeed that it's like, which Nancy Drew character are you? You guys should take it and yeah. okay. let us know your results. That's a good it's idea. It's fun. Nancy. Yeah. Bess. <laughs> and George. <laughs> I th that's what, like, I would expect. Like, <laughs> you're definitely Nancy. You're definitely George. I feel like I'm definitely Bess. So. Yes. <laughs> of, course, of course, Tess here is way more fashionable than I think George is. Well, thank you. <laughs> I found an old beaded handbag that may have belonged to Francis Humber. Was there anything in it? No, Dirk but if it's the bag Dirk. that Dirk mentioned in one of his love letters, it could hold some sort of clue. George, what does it Nancy, look like? Well, there's oh, a bird yeah, on it, but the beads have completely <laughs> fallen off this one section. However, it does have the name of the manufacturer at the bottom. It was made by the Chicago Mercantile Company back in 1881. That's one of the companies in my book. Is there anything else on it? Yeah, some kind of number. HB3941. Maybe that's what Who else could you get? Is. Was it just There's the a bunch of phone numbers in this book? Who was the Maybe we can track down the you pattern for you. That'd be great. Like I said, it could be pretty important. Especially if the part that's missing <gasps> turns out to have go. something yeah. to do with flowers. <laughs> we'll was right that a guy? On. I feel like... Was it could have been Ned. Been Ned or, I don't know who the fourth one was. for some reason. <clears throat> 
Yes, a dark soul, and let us know what you choose. Yeah. Or what you, oh, what you are. Was That's it for up. now. Have fun. Yeah. Wish you were Google. here. Yeah, I don't know, Bingo Crazy. Um, fourth if if, if any of you uh, wanted to go, like, power test this, tr try to identify which answers are which character, <laughs> and go for the one that is not Nancy Besser George, and then see what the result is. I'm curious to know who that fourth character was, because there was four options to choose from. No! No! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, Scarlet Karma, if you did get Togo, that would be a great answer, because Togo is cute. That was great. Okay, Yay! Snake is gone. Do, 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 It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. <gasps> Pick those vegetables for me yet? Take a look. Hey, there's stuff that's oh, way okay. overwrapping oh, me. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just pitch it. In the meantime, go back out there and try again. What? I think there's, I think there's one oh. more. I think there's you one more. You got it. There's one more. I think so. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's one more. I think okay. it's the golden egg thing. It was the Romano that was overripe. Okay. But yeah, you're probably right about the... I think. Oh, it's right yeah. here. I Old ivory egg. It. Yeah. There's the other one. Yep. Okay. I don't want to pick that because I'm not sure what if it's... What is that? Is that a tomato too? Green bean. Yeah, it looks too... In Northern right. Lights, is it tomato? Yeah. I didn't realize how many different tomatoes existed. Yeah. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more the ripe ones? stuff out there what? than that. There is? Ah. No, I don't want to pick that one because I, I don't know. think it's ripe. <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look right here. Golden uh, Queen is every vegetable. I'm not exactly. quite what it's supposed to look like. I don't. Beefsteak's definitely not right. Right. Okay, you guys, which one is it? Is it this? Is it the Romano? Sure. <laughs> let's take a look. Coco Crinkle Cat, yeah. Everyone. Dark Souls. Yes, yay. it is because they're matching these. Okay, great. Yay. I think that was it. It's okay. so hot. I should get these vegetables into Shorty right Did away. Those vegetables for me yet? <gasps> take a look. Yay! Good for you. Yay! Now, if you just <laughs> fill that egg basket for me again, we'll be all set. Uh, we're talking about BuzzFeed.com created a which Nancy Drew character are you quiz. We we shared the link to Facebook and Twitter like last week. What yeah. do you know about the it treasure that Dirk Valentine it, supposedly so. hid around here Dirk for Francis Hummer to find? If I good. thought there was a snowball's chance in Tampa that Valentine had stashed oh. any of his loot here, I'd be tearing this place apart. Why? What do you know about it? Nothing, really. But what makes you so sure he didn't stash any of his loot here? When I heard that rumor, I started reading everything about Dirk <laughs> Valentine I could get my hands well, on. But the more I read, the more it sounded like he suckered Francis into believing he'd himself. hidden something for her, like, just to give people something to talk about when he was gone. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Yeah, leave me a email. That's a good question. How does Shorty know that there are more vegetables? Maybe he's got like a camera out there or something. Like I Don't be fooled. These. Yeah. He's smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Coco Kringle Cat. That makes things a lot easier. Yes. For putting the link in there. Thank you, Coco Kringle Cat. Shorty has magic vegetables. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly it, horse nerd. <laughs> I think that's it. Whoops. Who needs a soundtrack? Let's <laughs> turn off the music and just you guys can. Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. You don't normally I need you to do like one more thing. It's Tex's birthday. Yay! The Raleigh's told me to make him a cake. Oh. Now, if oh. I make it, he'll throw a fit. But if you make it, 
he might actually appreciate it. So why don't you dig a cake recipe out of the recipe box and have at it? Okay. I don't care when you make it, just so it's done by the end of the day. The right icing's now. already made. Let's do it now. Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Whoop. Well, what I is y'all's favorite going. kind of Come cake? back soon. Nah, don't say that. I like a Victoria sponge with raspberry jam in the middle oh, covered with me. chocolate ganache. That sounds delicious. She's like, just hold on one second. <laughs> You're specific. No, but I like that. That sounds amazing. Uh, probably with uh, like fresh raspberries stacked on top. Subtle yeah. What about you? Specific cookie cake. I don't really like cookie cake. You know what I've been like tempted to do? I mean, because I make my own cakes from scratch. Yeah. Um, I really would just want to go to the store and buy the box of Funfetti cake and the can of Funfetti frosting. Yeah. And just make it because I'm a grown adult and I really want <laughs> <laughs> to make as a kid. Uh, <laughs> but, we got him a few times, I think. But yeah. When you're that a grown adult, is just special. You do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Like I can buy and eat. Did, did any of you guys have the Funfetti cake? Yes. That was like my number one choice every single yes. time. Like I was like, I'm gonna get cake for school. <laughs> hey, <laughs> crowding me here, anyone. Nancy. I need elbow Funfetti. room when I cook. Didn't Sorry. taste like anything. No, Different, but it, it was, was colorful, so, so it was fun. <laughs> Sprinkles. <laughs> I love Funfetti. I have to say, after red velvet and yellow cake, Funfetti cake is probably my favorite. Oh, I need to show you something. I just like cookie cake because it's like, I don't know, when I eat too much frosting, it makes my stomach hurt. Can you I tell what that's worth that's, that's becoming? Yes. Sitting on my counter right now. Stop it! She'll have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like upside down pot? Like, no. We're not, <laughs> okay, we're not going to tell you what it is. Okay. Um, but maybe I'll share it. I'll bring it in tomorrow if I can get it done tonight. Okay. Because all the elements are done, I just need to put it together. I'm so excited! Guys, they've been talking Can about doing this tell? mystery project for months. <laughs> Can you tell? And none of the rest of us know what it is. <laughs> what this is. Any ideas? Go ahead and take a guess. You're not going to get the answer until I'm done with it. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see what this yeah, is. Yeah, so we're not going to react months. even if you say it right. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. I want cookie dough cake. Like cookie a cake, cake with just like cookie dough chunks or something. Yeah. That actually, that doesn't sound too bad. Or ice cream cake's really good. Mm. A cold run. <laughs> <laughs> right, Double. doesn't it kind of look like that? It's a good guess, Zybertech. If you remember that, root beer is one of my favorite drinks of all time. Oh. Oh. First thing I'll need to make you know what's really cake good? Like, root beer bowl. cake sounds kind of weird, but have you ever had Coca-Cola cake before? Oh my no, gosh, no, it is not. amazing. It's a southern thing. Is but it like, it's so good. Huh. It has Coca-Cola. Mm. And it has like kind of like so would it be kind of like like sweeter or something? It's or? not really sweeter. It kind of tastes like more cherryish. I don't. Know, it's really good. It's moist, and then you put fudge on top of it. It's so good. I feel like you would really like it. You little baker, you. One. We should make it. Dark self, self cake, coat cake at Cracker Barrel. Did not know that. Three. I did not know that coat cake was a thing. Oh my gosh! I love Cracker Barrel. I miss Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Biscuits, though. <laughs> Texas sheet cake. How do you make Texas sheet cake? What's that? Oh, it is Ned. Yay! Thank you, oh, Star Purple. Yay. Did you get Did you get Ned? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you for looking into that. Yeah. Now we know. Ooh, Ned Bunny, you once made a three layer cake. Okay. Alright, we gotta stop talking. Okay. So, you guys remember, um, Ever done a cake like that where it's got kind of like the tiered look to it? Because it always looks so good. I've always I seen have. That. Yeah. My yeah. friend made me a cake for my birthday one time and it was like Plastic. purple. It was rainbow, so it was a layer of purple cake and then just food coloring. Oh, so awesome. I loved hey, it. it was so pretty. Question: I didn't look at the conversions and I totally forget. Um, how much is a pint compared to cups? Um, I want to Sure. I totally didn't look at the fridge conversions, and I don't want to back out now because of all the work <laughs> that I've done so far. How much is a pint in a matter of cups? Is it two. four or two? Oh, okay, two cups. So this is one pint is two cups. 
how long to cook it and what temperature to medium. use. Medium for 30? Because that right. sounds right to me. What do you guys, do you guys remember what the answer is? Chris, you die. Medium for 45 no. minutes. 45. 45. Everyone's saying 45. Really? Okay. All right. Okay. Bring it up now, y'all. You know, if I burn the kitchen down, it's all your fault. <laughs> uh, fake. Oh. Yay! Bravo. It's not cooked all the way through. Perfect. Maybe I should try a little, just that to be line. sure. <laughs> I should put that icing oh, shorty made on it. Perfect. What are these? I made you that flour Frances mentioned in her oh, recipe. I cut all the pieces out of marzipan using her old forms, but I'll be Did darned if I can figure out how the pieces go. Um, marzipan's okay. I mean, I love this puzzle. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about IRL marzipan. Um, I've made it before. I actually made this tulip in marzipan form. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, I tried three different ways, like the traditional way, and then I tried painting it a separate way. But, or I, So I did it traditionally two ways, where I made it just like this, you know, it's raw, and then we painted on it with a paintbrush, and then we did another version where it was raw as well. Okay. But we mixed in the food coloring together Ooh. to make a paste, and then I sculpted it from there. Oh. And then I did a third one where I baked it, which ends up becoming like um, a meringue, like a cookie hmm. meringue, kind of like how you'd expect macarons to have that consistency. Okay. Because it's mostly just almond flour and egg. Huh. And um, I think that was my favorite one. No, no, I really liked it best when we mixed in the food coloring as well. <laughs> I was like, that kind of looks weird. <laughs> yeah, when we mixed in the food coloring, it was much easier to sculpt. It looked way more professional rather than just painting it on like how this game does it. Oh, well, that's good to know. I would never have it's thought about tulip. it. It's a tulip. What's oh, this? Yeah, just that's food, food coloring, yeah. so you can paint that marzipan flower. Okay, you can paint it. Wow. Single? Oh. Uh, like one? One color or two colors? You could go two oh. colors. That I did not know. And oh then you goodness. can go three wow. colors. Wow! It's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that shady detail. That <laughs> oh my goodness. So pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, he's just gonna love oh, it. Oh, he's lovely. Mm. Oh, I definitely, I have never yeah. done that before. Just, uh, just three, three, three helpings. Oh. Yeah. Really? You guys didn't know that either? I thought everyone knew that. No, that's so cool. You, you can leave it alone as one layer or two layer because it will accept it just fine correctly. Do you have to paint it at all? I don't think so. Well, I don't know. I've <laughs> or tried a green flower, it. red it's Just a blank marzipan and Tex can imagine the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Tex. Be creative. Flex your creative muscles. I can't check that off. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Can't check that off. Can't check that off yet. Oh. Figure out the cracker thing, huh? Mm. Oh, I've got lots of new things to do. Check. No. That's well, can't check that off till it's not. done. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. That can't check that. I haven't. Can't check. Can't check. Have <laughs> to do so many things. All right. Wait. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> World Wide Web. Ooh, bean pattern. They emailed us. 
Okay, we need beads now. We have to get beads. Maybe Tex has some. Yeah, may Tex, you got beads, right? <laughs> he likes to do bead work. Yeah. Not that my family's nope. any of your concern, oh. but my sister did work for the Raleigh's back in Phoenix. She got fired, she got mad, but she's over it. Okay. So it's just a coincidence that you ended up working for the Raleigh's too? Of course not. Janie got me curious, so I checked him out and wound up iron on. They're decent people. Yeah, so all are. the bad stuff that's been going on around here, it's not because you're helping her get back at the Raleigh's for letting wow. her go? Very Fact is, my sister <laughs> can be kind of a flick. I'd have probably fired her too. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone tried going after that phantom horse when it appears? Nope. Always something mm. else going on. Like Ed Raleigh getting snake bit or the pump house blowing up. Plus that horse is fast. Probably couldn't catch it anyway. Mm. Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. Challenge. Feed the chickens <laughs> and the horses in the corral first. Could be fatal, fatal. if you mess up. Mm. So don't. No, <laughs> don't I don't want to kill the Just animals. Just stay out of trouble. I feel like, like they're, they're giving a lot of important things to do for someone who has no experience yeah. in this area. It's like, wow guys, I feel like this is a little short sighted. <laughs> Two oh scoops boy. of chicken chow. Two scoops of chicken chow. Two Hang on, I'm gonna. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Kawaii Coco and Coco Kringle Cat. Things. He is Cowboy Batman. I, I, canon. That's canon now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not in the, I'm not ready to be taking notes. Alright, so let's start with the easy one, which I think is Clyde. So three things of oats, oh, three pounds of oats, pound, three pounds of oats, one and a half pounds of mixed pellets. I believe this is mixed pellets. No, that's <laughs> corn. Yep. Wait, which one's which? I forget. Okay, so there's the there's yellow that, one. the yellowish one. There's and this one. Grayish yellowish one. Which one's on the left? Is that oats or mixed pellets? I don't remember. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all the jumping over the hurdles. <laughs> 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 oh, knows? What's the question? I mean, we can, you know what we can do? What's the pink? Who, who eats the packing peanuts? Wait. So they kind of look like there's the pink one or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I was like, peanuts. wait. <laughs> Do they actually though? <laughs> no, yeah, they're 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 packing peanuts. They just whenever they need to mail packages, <laughs> they just come out to the stalls and they're good. Oh, okay. Oats are very yellow. <laughs> Oats are yellow. Corn. Okay, so Miss Miss Corn. Pellets must be the other one then. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So oats are the yellow. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gonna feed us some horses. Okay, so for Clyde. My else? boy Clyde, who's with me here? <laughs> three pounds of that. Okay, so we need three of those scoops. Okay. I know those mania is. <laughs> This. How much is that one? One and a half. Perfect. Okay, Clyde, here we go. Food. Food. Somehow. Keep it. Great. Empty. A sight now. Ow, oh, look at him. Cross Pretty our fingers. And hope to goodness that we don't kill a horse. <laughs> here, eat this. If it was an accident, and they yeah. should have been giving up these horses. So as soon as you go through the door, uh, if you hear the sound of a horse complaining and falling over, you did it wrong. I'm gonna be very but upset. <laughs> we have succeeded. Okay, so now we want to feed Bob. Right. Bob. Bob. Two things of oats, one corn, one and a half mixed pellets. Okay. Two oats, one corn, oats one and a half mixed go. pellets. Oh. Two oats, one Gotta corn, put it down. one and a half mixed Where's pellets. Where's the bucket? Right down here. Right there, and well, then we can the open stick. So oats, two of these. 
Uh-uh, we're not, ch no, we're not second chancing it. <laughs> no. I'm not about to hear this. No, we're not going to kill Fake horse die. I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> I'm not. Corn. It's only a half. Kill half. the horses. Okay. No, you don't. Two of those. <laughs> not All right, then one and a half things are mixed. <laughs> oh, <corn>. okay. <laughs> That's one and a half worth, right? Perfect. Right? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Wait, who are you feeding? You mess up and give them pink cow feed. <laughs> All right, who's left? Ace. One thing of oats. Great. One of oats. Half corn. So let's one some of this. <laughs> Pretty and much. Three it's about that vibe. <laughs> so we're at one and a half right now, so we need to get to four and a half. See, see your dance moves are good. <laughs> Yeah, Andy Runner, we definitely do not want to give them a tummy ache. That would be really unfortunate. <laughs> not on Nancy's watch. Hi, Ace. Here you go. Here's some food. Wait, now which one's your favorite? Ace. Ace. Yay, like we did it! Woo! All right. How many times do you have to feed them? Each one. Is that the chicken? Oh. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Oh. That is how much for the chicken feet? Two scoops. Two scoops. Two Whatever scoops. that means. Okay, just two <laughs> What are they eating? Beans? Nuts? Uh, beans? It's like just the kidney beans. beans. Kidney beans. Yeah. Some corn beans. beans. Black Some beans. beans. Sunflower seeds. Maybe. They're just getting whole grains. Almonds. Whole grains and legumes. All the really best. Balanced. Yeah, I always end with the chicken Okay. Recipe. Yes. Agreed, Nancy Drew Rocks 28. I I think if I were able to pick, I would be so much happier because I'd take Okay, out chickens, meat. come and like, get it. <laughs> I feel bad for the other two. I would take Bob out and then Clyde and then um, Ace. Like, I feel ya, I feel ya. It's like, they don't get ridden, they're just sitting in there all by themselves. <laughs> They get shorties, lamb, or you leftovers. Need something? <laughs> I, I go riding not. now? Oh, Bob's all yours. Oh. I set up some barrels and a saw yeah. so you can do some barrel racing and practice roping. Whenever you're out there, I'll watch you and time you. If you get good enough, like, say, you get your time below 10 seconds, and if you can lasso the sawhorse, like, say, four times out of five, I'll give Ooh. you your very own lariat. Ooh. You can practice as much that. as you want whenever you want. <laughs> Just don't go walking off with my rope. You're saying you need this? I'll be watching. You need no, uh, it was this thing. It's multi. Well, talk I'm to you later. Lasso, yeah. No hurry. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to lasso you. There's yeah. a lot of cords around here. I think it worked. I've been Come on, Bob. Good boy. Yahoo! Good boy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. No, let's just start with the least exciting. All right. All right, just wait for a perfect circle. Wait for it. Congratulations. It totally Yay. is. It's so satisfying. It's nice. It's a good signal to know that you're doing it right, but then also. Yeehaw! Ooh, turn it. Ooh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, crazy. Praise the horse. Woohoo! We go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jump up. 9.5. Oh. How about Yay. that? Yes. You did it. All right. Now I can get my own lariat. I did the barrel race in under Yay. 10 seconds and roped the sawhorse four out of five times. Oh. Do I get a lariat? 
Yep, here you go. Yep. I'm kind of surprised, aren't you? Why? I figured you'd be good for some laughs out there. He's so Work. rude. <laughs> Cut those fingernails. I know. Nasty. I <laughs> this little vacation of yours ain't over with yet. Aww. Rude. May I go riding again? Yep. Talk to you later. I was no expecting to be like, I know. I have to get those. I think it's just about time for intermission here too. Let's let let's uh, settle up. Bob and we'll go to intermission time and get ready for a trivia question. I got a trivia question. It's a little bit different. Oh, alright. That'll require them to be paying more attention. Come on, Bob. Good boy. Alright, you just wait right there, Nancy. Alright, who y'all paying attention? No, don't go away. I don't want notifications right now. I know, I hate it. it. <laughs> How do I get rid of this? I don't want to talk to you. Don't go away. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's really fine. Dull. No. no. <laughs> okay, you guys. All right, listen up. <laughs> Come back to the screen if you are away. Get ready to type a, an answer, okay? Because it's trivia question time. <laughs> so what's going to happen here is I'm going to ask you a trivia question. You have, through intermission, to write your one answer. So think about your answer. You can only type in once. But I'm just going to throw that down. <laughs> We're something. yanking all the boards around here. <laughs> And then, um, from all the correct answers that we see in the feed, at the end of the party today, we are going it's to... It's so hard to hear us right now. Is it? Oh. Really? That's what they said. Oh. Are we on? It's Hello! Like, no one, no one uh, can hear the trivia question. <laughs> yeah. No, here. How like, about I will work on typing it about the same time that um, I ask it. So, let me chat rules for my own self. Okay. Uh, let me type it first, and then I'll say it. Okay, here we go. Here's the question. What is Francis's cousin's name? What is Francis's cousin's name? All right, we will be back in five minutes. There's your question. I'm the quietest. Oh, that's because I'm like far away, I guess. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but it's, it's in the chat feed now. You can see it. All right, we'll be back in five. Stay tuned. Where's the mute button?
Hello, welcome back everyone. Welcome back. We got a few announcements before we get back into the game. Yes. Um, the Secret of Shadow Ranch is on sale for this entire weekend, all the way through President's Day on Monday. So if you guys don't have this game, you can get it on sale for half off or gift it to someone. Uh, if you use the promo code Valentine2020 at checkout. Mm -hmm. So be sure to get that. We've got brand new merchandise in our Teespring store. Yes. We've got duffel bags. We've got Valentine's, Valentine's designs. Yeah. Uh, you can also get them on sale 10% off through Sunday with promo code CANDY. And the link is on our website. You can check that out. And then we've got more. Oh, tomorrow was the last day to enter the Valentine's Day card contest. Yes. yes. So be sure to do that if you haven't done that already. Mm -hmm. um, be sure to keep taking selfies and sending them to us of you watching the stream so that way. And you have to get yes. those in to us by um, the beginning. Is it the beginning yeah, of Twitch stream? The start. Okay, yeah, the yeah. start of the Twitch stream um, tomorrow. So don't forget about that. Also, yes. um, Cece had to duck out. She had a couple of other things that she had to do today. So she will not be joining us for the remainder of today. But she will be back tomorrow for the next stream. Yes. What was the other announcement? Um, let's see. Uh, check out their latest video. Oh yeah. <laughs> on YouTube. Yes, we made Johnny cakes, which are very they're they're pretty good. They're if you if you haven't tried them, um, it's kind of like a, a mix between the taste of them is kind of like a mix between cornbread and pancakes. So if you like that, it's a good vehicle for whatever toppings you want to put on it. So. And which one was it that you were surprised actually did not taste good? Um, well, I don't think, at least for me, I liked the taste of all of them. The mm -hmm. most unexpected one was the Joe's, like Joe's themed one, which was pineapple and banana. Oh. Which I guess, in, like, I guess it makes sense because, you know, they're, they can be like combined for more tropical -y stuff. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that and it turned out pretty good. So. Are you talking yeah. about Johnny Cakes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> cakes with um savory stuff too like mm -hmm. spinach and cheese or something because the flavor Bacon. was very mild and it wasn't mm -hmm. super sweet so you can make it kind of with whatever you want mm -hmm. although yeah if if you want it more sweet you can add a little bit more vanilla but if you add too much vanilla then definitely don't do the savory stuff yeah that will make it not good you guys should make them and let us know yeah <laughs> let us know which one you like or if you have a better idea of toppings then let us know that too Yep. Okay, bye. bye. Everyone give her purple hearts to say goodbye. Purple hearts says goodbye. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to share this. It's not going to show up so great on the screen because I didn't put it on the computer. But not to toot my own horn, my birthday's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And my mom got me like some of the best presents ever today because I see her today. So I wanted to show you um, the presents that she got me. But uh, my son Cassian had fun with it too, <laughs> looking at the pretty colors. These are the, let's see if we can get a good decent <laughs> shot here, right here. These are two of the Nancy Drew puzzles. One is actually is the Hardy Boys puzzle, and one is the 500 piece classic book puzzle. Uh, Cassian is pointing out the pretty pictures <laughs> on the boxes. He was so looking at cute. the details on there. There's another picture. His hair is turning more like brown, I feel like. It's a little bit darker, yeah. But Oh, baby boy! So he's holding it up. Yeah. He's so, so cute! He was, he was having fun playing with the boxes because they rattle, you know, they're puzzles. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, anyways, I'm looking forward to putting those puzzles together. Thanks, Mom and Dad, because <laughs> my dad got me the Hardy Boys puzzle, so I'm really excited! <laughs> two puzzles to get. I got two and there's two more on our store. You can get, you guys can buy those puzzles on our store. Yes. We're out of stock on the thousand piece classic one. I'm working on getting them restocked, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, but yes. if you haven't, then you should totally get those. Those are really cool. Yes. Any other announcements? Um, I can't think of anything pressing. Oh, I'll give you a little tidbit on a sale that's coming up on Saturday. Oh yeah. Saturday, right. Saturday. Um, if you do not have Danger on Deception Island, which was the game that happened that was made just before this one, 
On Saturday, it's World Whale Day. <laughs> um, so we're having a sale only on that day. 50% off, Danger on Deception Island. Um, keep an eye out for the promo code. Well, I'll tell you the promo code because it's not active right now. It's only active on Saturday. So write this down if you want to get the game or gift the game. Mm -hmm. It's Whales Rule 2020. <laughs> oh, the promo code is Whales Rule 2020. Use that code on Saturday to get 50% off Danger on Deception Island. So the total cost comes down to like five bucks. Whales Rule. Whales Rule. <laughs> That's a great, yes. that's a great game. All right, let's get back into playing the game. All right, let's do this. Lollipop Cutie, if that is an option in the future, yes, we'll add that. We'll add more sizes. Thank you, Ninja Shrimp. I did Gardenia Rose, and I'll show the picture better tomorrow when I upload it into the, into the feed right here on the screen. So I'll do that tomorrow because it's more appropriate for tomorrow. Here like, we I go. emailed it myself, I just didn't do it. <gasps> <gasps> we can go to Dry Creek! Yes. But let's go to Mary's because we have to say hi to her and ask her for beads. That looks like Mary oh Yazzie. Oh, she's over there. Let's stop over there. I need to talk we've to been, her. We've been married. Well, all right. Is her shop open? Maybe it's closed. Oh. Maybe she knows a shortcut. It's under the underground or something. Oh, oh it is closed. Oh, bummer. Which uh, makes sense. I mean, she's not there. Unless she's got another thing that's going on. I'm, I'm, I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. Um, um, maybe she has. Can't uh, check that off yet. I haven't done, I haven't done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, but I have my own lariat, so I can go to Kuma <gasps> Bend. Yes! We can find it. We can figure the rest of those, um, 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 glyphs. Like, much more words. Yes. <laughs> Petroglyphs. <laughs> We're running errands or something. Yeah, probably. All right. Here this we go. Epic guitar solo. I need a rope. Okay. All right. Perfect circle. Okay. Here Perfect we go. Circle. Beautiful. Oh no, I missed. Oh no. <laughs> okay, it, it was. It was beautiful. I know. It was like starting to get there. There. No. Missed. What? So it sensitive. Was I know. Maybe it's sensitive because I'm not trying to get more on time. Yeah. Yay! Ta-da! Limu, Limu. Uh, we're playing until the end of the game of day two. That's when we stop playing the game. Yes. Hook All right. And swirl. I can't get my map out now. I'll just remember the petroglyphs I see and check my map later. So swirl and um, hook and swirl with little crow feet. Oh boy. Okay. There you go. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. Ooh. <gasps> Buffalo. <laughs> or a rat. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's okay, two people, people raising the roof. Dancing. Root. Um, oh, and stars. And the stars. And then... Ooh. Beneath Cappy's keys, Cappy's name, please. All right. Yeah, we haven't shared anything about the next game yet, but we're working on it. That's all we can say so far. Mm -hmm. All right, we need to figure out who Cappy is. Neath Cappy's keys. Yeah. Wait, Pappy's keys or Cappy's? Cappy's keys. Find Pappy's name. Too, this is a tongue twister. Too, too much. Yeah, that is a tongue twister. Mm. Well, that's a pretty flower. I know, some of the sound effects are just really rewarding. Mm -hmm. I love the classic click sound. There's something so satisfying about it. Yep. Charlene of Purcell's office. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. Ah. What's the latest? Dirk! 
Dirk, I came across a reference to someone whom Dirk referred to as Pappy. Probably his father, Kashmir Valentine. He was a blacksmith mm, over Valentine in Prescott. Yes. Would Francis have known who he was? Oh, yes. Dirk worshipped mm, his Dirk. father. Mm. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk mm. was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out of shame. I came across something that looks like a very old token and has the words Dry Creek Merchants on it. Sounds like you have a piece of Dry Creek script. It was sometimes mm. used in mining towns like Dry Creek in place of currency. Does it have a denomination on it? It says one and a half cents. Probably used for games. What huh. kind of games? Believe it or not, they had some very primitive arcade type games back in the 1880s. Mm. I don't some know. Were quite <laughs> entertaining, especially for a cent and a half. Hmm. Ikimono Wii meant money, minu. Uh, I know, sorry. I get that one wrong every time. I can't say sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, We'd love to hear your story. That's awesome. If you if you think about it or want to, email us at feedback at herinteractive.com and tell us just a little, you know, brief story of how you do go into geography and maps because of the games. Mm -hmm. Love to hear that, especially how the games influenced you. Yeah. Talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. Yeah, because that, I mean, like, I feel like it would be, is, is it, like, more landmarks-based or is it, like, topography-based or is it everything like, cause that would be, that would be really fascinating cause there's so many different types of... That wasn't there before. <gasps> Ooh. Hi, can I help you with something? That's a pretty big hunk of petrified wood over there. Where'd you get it? A friend of mine found it when he was clearing land for a new house. I told him I'd share whatever I got for it with them. Be sure to check out the jewelry display. Well, diversion. I just I got some <laughs> real nice pieces in. I saw you riding earlier near Shadow Ranch. Do you ride around there a lot? You're mistaken. Whoa. Shadow Ranch Whoa. is private property. I never ride there. You must have seen somebody else. I'm sure the Raleigh's don't mind if you ride on their land. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. So don't go telling people you saw me trespassing, because you didn't. Excuse me. Oh, we uh, hit her buttons. Yes, it did. Wow. I can't talk right oh. now. Sorry. Oh, she doesn't sound Holy. very sorry. She's not going to help us with the beads now. Let's oh, go back man. in. Are you happy now? Mary? I can't talk no. right now. Sorry. Mary, come on. All we wanted to do is talk about the beads for the purse, right? Mm. All right, Dry Creek. This Ooh, is so exciting. The ghost. music here always is Ooh. super spooky. Probably just a bird. Yeah, probably just a bird. It's probably fine. Yeah. Ooh, are there more arrows Ooh. here? <gasps> oh, Aww. dare you reach out and touch this? I think we should. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Scorpion. Don't mind me. I'm going <laughs> to pick up one of these. Oh, hi. Blasted. Oh, man. Whoops. Fine. <laughs> we can't take him as a pet. <laughs> Outhouse, anyone? <laughs> it's here. I feel like I'm good. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> Yay! J.F. This music, I remember, this is one of the first games that I ever played for Nancy Drew, and this music always creeped me out. I couldn't wait to get out of this setting. I know, it was so ominous, so mm -hmm. eerie. It's all those, like, ghostly Cappy. choir in the background. Cappies! Cappy! Cappies! Keys! Game, please! Or whatever that code was. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and, of course, we have no signal oh. out here, but here's a trick. Oh. Here is a secret trick. If you hit web, then directory, oh. you get signal. Um, sure. Right. right sure. Permission, please? Please, let's... Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. Hernandez. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? I noticed that you put a lock on one of the buildings in the ghost town. Yeah, the support beams in there are about to go. I was afraid some dumb tourist would knock into one of them and bring the thing down, and I'd wind up having to dig them out. If I'm real careful, do you think I could have the combination? <laughs> it's just an old shack. There's nothing to see in there. I'm just curious. Amateur detective, remember? <laughs> I'll lock the place back up when I'm done. Well, if you yeah. swear you'll be careful. I'll be extremely careful. I promise. Let's see. Where did I put that combination? Ah, here we go. Nine, two, seven, four. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Phone companies hate this trick. I, I love that. 
gosh. Um, Jay Ross, I'm pretty sure it is the guy from um, Secret of the Scarlet Hands, um, Sierra Fernandez. I'm pretty sure that's the same voice. And I'm pretty sure it's also the same voice as Dirk Bell. So, the more you know. Looks like Whoa. someone's been hanging out in here. It's not a very safe hangout. Hmm. Friend, you better find a more stable place to relax. Ooh. Looks like I need to put in a password. We learned this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Happy cashmere. Yes. Snuffing. Snuffle. Ugh, oh, I know, it was so per it was so close. Cash. Cash a phone. No. I know. So close. No. <laughs> it's like you have to work backwards. Mm-hmm. All right, we're close, we're close. Oh no! Oh no! Oops, I went over already. Oh. <laughs> we'll get it. It's fine, it's fine. Um. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Everybody give her purple hearts in the chat. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Take your forks and a crank to the beady eyes ranch and make sure you see what's below. When you stick the forks in and give it a spin, off toward my treasure, you'll go. Beady eyes ranch. And a crank. Yay. Thank you, guys. Ooh, what a view. I know. He's beautiful. Spooky, but beautiful. Yeah. Ooh. <gasps> what is this? Oh, okay, hang on. We have to save game. Save game. Oh, yes! Because it's if we trick. lose... Oh, uh, wait, we don't really know how to play it. Never mind. We don't actually... I mean, we we know, but... Interesting. Oh. Hmm. But we're not going to succeed just yet. Yeah. I happen to know this, so... You're totally right. We need that one, I think. Even the crumbs are crisp. Crackers! <gasps> Maybe they're still good. Let's try them. Okay. How good are these crackers? This is when we call Bess Marvin. <laughs> Have them do some research. Wait, we heard Dirk's voice. We're supposed oh, yes. to take it Hello? Dirk. It's me. So what's going on there? <laughs> oh, come on. How about That's minutes? it for now. Oh, and thanks for sending me that bead pattern. Thanks for giving us something to do. Bye. That wasn't who I was supposed to call. <laughs> Charlene. Yo! Charlene Purcell's office. Charlene Purcell's office. <laughs> Hi, this is Nancy Drew. <laughs> Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's hey. the latest? Would you happen to know the brand name of crackers back in the 1880s whose slogan was Even the Crumbs Are Crisp? Not offhand, but I certainly can find out. Details like that are why so many of my books have won awards for historical oh. accuracy. Wow. That's why I'm good. <laughs> have you read any of my books? Uh, no. But Aunt Beth has. She's a big fan. I realize that my novels aren't everyone's cup of tea. But it wouldn't hurt to at least give them a try, would it? No. In fact, I'll pick one up first chance I get. <laughs> and I'll send you the name of those crackers first chance I get. Talk to you soon. Okay. That would be great. That's right, Nancy. Massage her ego. She will yes. help us. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Wow. Like, I want to take a look at what this bottle is. I know. Is that an oil can or a tea kettle? Or I can't tell. Either way, I want to pick it up. Can't look. Uh, so we. All right. Okay, so we need to find a crank, which I know is somewhere around here. Um. It's like. The general store. Ah, yes. Oh, what is this? A coffee grinder? Looks yes. like it. Because that's Ancient. where like the coffee is ground or something. It's, I don't know. it's actually an old gumball machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know. <laughs> Alright, we need forks. Oh, we need a scorpion. Yay! Yay! How many do we have now? One, two, wait, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, oh, eight, nine, ten. ten of them. Cool. Is that all we need? I think so. that's all we need. Yay! Probably. We don't know that yet, but yeah. Yay! <laughs> this is where Dirk Valentine was hung. Right next to the sheriffs. It's a bit of a bummer. See, when I first played this game, I thought these were gold bars. Because the <laughs> way that the light was shining on them... I could see that. I could see that. Is they're just bricks. And it's just like, why hasn't anyone taken them yet? Right? Cool so desk. desk. It's locked. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Aww. Yeah. Nancy, there's like an open wall right there. Just climb. Oh, we can't reach that one, no. Yeah, so. The concept of like a ghost town like this is so bizarre to me because it's like everyone just left everything there, which I guess yeah. makes sense if you don't have means to transport stuff. But even then, it's like that was a that was a decently nice desk in the sheriff's office, and no one came back for it. So it's like, yeah, okay. Have any of you guys actually visited ghost towns? There are a few here in Washington. Are they really? They are hard to get to. They're more of a hike. Okay. Tucked away far into the woods. Um, but I've been meaning to go, like, check some out. That would be super cool to there, go visit some. Somewhere in the mountains just up here, there is a, a, a town that is entirely underwater. What? Yeah. So, what ha I don't know, the, I don't remember the full story, but there was a town deep in a valley way back in, I guess, the 18, 1900s, early 1900s or something like that. And um, I think they either left or the, the dam that was up higher either broke or they released it and it flooded the entire valley. So if you go on a hike up to the mountain and look down at the lake, you can see that there are buildings in Whoa. the lake. Oh, that's weird. That's I need wild. to I need to look into it and like someday go visit that place. Oh, that's cool. So cool. That would be Hi, really Hi, can I help you with something? Well, now you Do you know talking. anything Dirt. about the treasure Dirt. Dirk Valentine supposedly buried somewhere around Shadow Ranch? I know it's a lot of hogwash. Mm -hmm. Sure. Some people would disagree with you. If I had a dollar for every lost mine or buried treasure story I've heard in the 30 odd years I've lived here, I'd have 10 horses, two cars, and possibly my own helicopter. It's nothing but a tall tale. Trust me. All have right. you by any Dirk. chance ever come across any silverware that may have belonged to Dirk Valentine's girlfriend, Francis? Silverware? You know, knives and spoons and forks? forks? <laughs> I'd remember if I did because I would have sold it. Silverware from the 19th century would be pretty valuable. I'd like to recreate the beadwork that was on this bag. Very random assortment. Only of it questions. looks like I need a lot of different beads. Beads, huh? Let me see what I can do. While I do this for you, why don't you finish that display for me? The one behind you. Fair enough. Yeah. Yay! This one's a fun puzzle too. Yeah. Because you get to organize, like. It's so satisfying to see everything be put in its proper place. The hardest part was just figuring out the sizes. That always took a while. Yeah. <laughs> FH, did you mean Frank Hardy? Yes. You think it's Francis Humber, but really it's Frank Hardy, <laughs> the time traveler. That's true. Kawaii Coco Nancy does everyone else's chores, but that just means that they're that much more willing to help. So, oops. Oh, okay. yeah, I lost my slot. <laughs> oops. Oops. Okay, Yay! so now they're organized by color. Now, now we're going to put them in by by shape. Shape. Lollipop Cutie Pie Nancy gets paid in um, brownie points. Hey, right. <laughs> she just she gets A plus for being a good human. So yeah. Well, that's a good question, Indy Runner. What's your favorite piece of jewelry? Um, yeah. which ring would you have of these? Of ones? these, yeah. Um, I don't know. I I'd, I'd probably have to say. The one with the, like, was it the five, 
little things on top and the five on the bottom. This is a simple one. Simple one is simple is where it's at, you know, because it goes with everything and um, and it doesn't get in the way. Like I feel like like if I were to have a really big ring or anything, it would just like get caught on stuff. So what about yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. I I like the simple ones too. But this these just remind me of my grandmother's jewelry. She oh. had she had some fake jewelry and some real ones, but she would always let us play with the fake. Oh. And they were always like this. And it was just really fun to play dress up with these. <laughs> of course, <laughs> playing dress up was the best. And she'd let us borrow her, you know, her old clothes that she wasn't using mm -hmm. anymore, very florally, <laughs> <laughs> but very big and poofy. Yeah, yeah. My um, my great aunt used to have when we go over to her house. They had this basement, and they had oh. all kinds of like different toys. So there was like a little mini kitchen thing, but it was like from all like used like spices and cans and stuff that like it, they weren't toys specifically but they were just old stuff that they weren't using anymore and it was all empty and so we'd play kitchen with that but they also had this trunk of like these dresses and one was like sort of a wedding dress type thing but it had like sleeves that kind of hung down like like oh, medieval style kind of very cool. that was always really fun to play dress up with those with those dresses and stuff so, I don't know what it was, but you know, it's like you'd go to older yeah. relatives' houses and they'd have stuff like that, and it was the best. The cool old stuff. Mm hmm. What about so, you guys? Yeah, have you, do you have like a fun um, tradition, or did you ever do anything kind of like that? Where like you would try on rings or dresses or anything like that? Oh, NG Runner used to dress up as Belle, Jasmine Blossom, and Batgirl. Very fun! Wow. What a wide assortment. That's awesome. Yeah. I like mm. the teal colored rings so. though. Mm hmm. Although red would go with a lot more stuff. Yeah. Like Although much. the teal is like really um it's not it's not flashy, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, star purple, the sound effects are kinda cool. Kinda satisfying. Yes. It's just very relaxing to watch. Because you're just like, I know that everything's being put in order. Halfway done. Oh, Gardenia Rose, you wore your mom and aunt's old prom dresses when you were a girl. Oh, that's so cute. Nice. You'd play school. Yes. Playing school was so much fun. Agreed, Coco Kringle Cat. That was the best. I would always force my little sisters to be the students, and they went along with it. I got to be the teacher. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was always the boss. Yeah. I was the oldest. <laughs> Wasn't it great? <laughs> <laughs> Make the decisions for, <laughs> for the right. people, and they just kind of go with it. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, that's X large. Uh, large. Pretty, pretty princesses. I love it. Ooh, Webkins. I don't know. I don't know if I ever played with Webkins stuff. I think that may have been after. Yeah, my si we, uh, no, younger sister did. She was really into those Webkins. Yeah. What are they? They're stuffed animals, but they have a digital presence online. Oh. So you go to the website, you learn more about them, all kinds of fun activities. Okay. Hence Webkins. Yeah. Ah, that makes sense. There. That Yay! looks right. Yay! Beautiful. Yay! All right. All right, Mary, you better give us some things. Tuning forks. Maybe Dirk meant tuning Dirk. forks. Ah. I'm out of orange juice. Oh, no. I've got water, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe the Frank, the, maybe, yeah, maybe FH is Frank <laughs> Hardy's tuning forks. All right. Mm -hmm. Hi. I finished that display for you. Any luck finding those beads? Here, try these. Yay! Yay! Great, thanks. I noticed some tuning forks over there. Would it be okay if I borrowed them for a while? Tell you what, if you go out and find me 10 arrowheads for this display I'm working on, I'll give them to you for free. You can put them in this. Yes. Yay! I already have 10 Woo! arrowheads, see? Woo -woo -woo -woo. So you do. Woo! It looks like I only need nine to finish this display. So here, keep this arrowhead. Thanks for your Hooray! help, Nancy. Yay. Those tuning forks are all yours. Yay. It was great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. 
Excellent. Oh, why, why thank you, AI 409. So professional. <laughs> Alright, we Let's gotta sell some tuna farts! Let's do the bead thing! Yay! Okay. Uh, what was it? <laughs> what was the design? I oh, don't we need that right now. Yes, we do. Let's stand outside in the hot, blazing hot sun. <laughs> we'll solve it, we'll solve it here. Bead pattern. Okay, so that's required, so it goes... Uh, yellow. Yellow. Um, black. Black. Black with red corners. Black, red corners, and we do that four times. Four times, okay. And then, and then it goes red, white, red, red, red with her pink corners. And her pink four pink. times. Wow, okay. So in a spiral. Alright, let's do it. Alright, it starts with yellow. Yellow. And then black and black, black. with red corners. Four times. One. One. Two. Two. <laughs> nope. Uh, three. And numero four. And four. Okay. And then it goes red, white, red. 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 White. White. Red. Red. Red with pink corners? Red with pink corners. Woo! This one. And we do that four times. Okay, so yes. red, white, red, pink. Red, red white, red, pink. Red, white, white red, pink. Red. Okay, and then we do it. <laughs> Quay, Coco, uh, that's not how these yeah. work. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> red. White. Red. Yes, Horse Nerd agreed. I like these sound effects too. Really, I just love the sound effects from all of the games. White. They're so satisfying. Red. Better pink corners. Perfect. Yay! Boom. It's beautiful. Lovely. Perfect. That flower looks kind of like a poppy. Yeah, a poppy. Okay, great. Sort of. I mean, to drag queen. Creep. 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 We're going to Dwight Quick. Let's say what's over when Dwight Quick. I was just thinking that. <laughs> oh, Alright. Oh, Forks in a crank. Oh, we have the crank, right? Yes. BD. Ooh! I'll bet Dirk custom made Dirk. this. Which Dirk. means I better not go messing around in there. Yeah. Do it anyway, Nancy. I saw a design just like that in Cappy's. Maybe I'm supposed to do something with it there. Yes. Well, then let's go. Let's just go for it. Yes. I love this kind of treasure hunt. I wish. Yeah, we need to have like a Nancy Drew land with Shadow Ranch oh so you can do gosh. a treasure hunt kind of puzzle. That would be Escape so Room Town. That would be awesome. Oh. And every different like, oh, what is this? Electrician's manual? An electrician's manual. I wonder what that's doing here. Oh, By you know. Sparky Gil Gillespie. Gillespie? 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 Giuseppe. Mm. Brand new. I want to know what this book is I right know. here. It's Orca. <laughs> Something. Lost. Lose. Lock. Lock. Lose. Lose. School? I kind of want to go into the art files and just take a look at what that is. <laughs> what are those? This outline reminds me of something. You said that, Nancy. I don't. What does oh, it remind right. you of, Nancy? Tuning forks. Let's tune the. Can't do that. Yet. Okay, fine. No. <laughs> you don't want to look at your pet book crank first, right? Okay. Okay. It's in. There we go. Tuning forks. Where'd it go? Down here. Why did it drop down there? I don't know. Here we go. R N. Okay. This is where you just pretty much have to guess. You're supposed to spell. Is it Francis? Francis. A. Francis. Woo. Woo. Plug your ears. Plug your ears. Everybody plug your ears! Ooh. That's a hard sound. Wow! Except, okay, how would he now test Now go and peek right? from that zebra rock, <laughs> but you'll need a magnet what's there to unlock. A magnet? A magnet? That's all the way back up the ranch. Wow. Uh, Alright. Okay. Sorry, Bab. I know, that was very loud. <laughs> Let's check out some stuff on our task list. Mm -hmm. that that's check, check. I'm finished with that. Check, 
kitchen. I'm finished. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that. Okay. Can't check. Check. Can't check that off till it's done. Check. I'm. F can't check that off yet. As usual, ask for permission. <laughs> can't check that off yet. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Ah, I'm getting ooh. a definite feeling I'm not alone. Ah, that was spooky. Well, let's go in there. I know. Let's take a look. Knock, knock. Hello. Anybody there? Hi. <laughs> With a fancy tail. <laughs> I want to go in. Oh, that's know. not fair. I know, right? All right. So, so we guess. have to what? Go back to the ranch? Mm -hmm. Spooky music can't follow us anymore. Yeah, which which video games are you guys playing these days? Which Star, one are you? Star Purple, you're playing Phantom Venice. Nice. Which Sorry. one are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Jenny LeClue, Detective. That looks like oh, that's Mary right. Yossi <gasps> and Tex? What? Oh. What is going on over there? Are you playing any games? Um, I just finished um, replaying Wind Waker. Oh, I love that one. It's one of the ones that I grew up with. I really want to redo Ocarina of Time. Because that one is really fun. But, oh, let's take his stuff! He would be mad. He would be mad, but he it would, would be funny. He would notice. Not funny, haha, -ha funny, but funny. Ah, here I am, I'm trapped in a way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we're supposed to take care of the chickens or else the coyotes are gonna have a chicken dinner. We're Oops, gonna be a lot Dave said to wear gloves. But I have it. Oh, man. Me and I'm like a little girl. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> uh oh. Oh no! Well, that's too bad. Didn't Dave tell you what would happen if you didn't fix that fence like he asked? Yes, and I was going to do it, really. Then why didn't you? Well, I... I just didn't get around to it. We were raising those chickens so we could eat the eggs, dear. Not so the coyotes could eat the chickens. Every morning, Ed has an egg white omelet. Well, at least I used to. Wow. I'm really sorry. I'm sure you are, dear. But since you obviously don't appreciate the fact that the welfare of animals comes first on a working ranch, I'm afraid that you, like those poor chickens, are history. Wow! Mm. Oh my goodness. Feed me to the wolves. I know. <laughs> Your history, wow. Nancy. It's a little harsh. Okay, let's not go in the house. Tex I must have turned the horses out for the night. The horses out? What do you mean, Nancy? What's for dinner, Shorty? I know. More lamb ragu. Maybe this time he'll actually stick to burgers. I hope so. <laughs> this goes here. Yay! Oh, shush. <laughs> there we go. Touch ball. Happy music. I know. We're fixing this chicken wine for this fence. Beautiful. <gasps> this goes here. Yeah, it does. There. Sorry, coyotes. No chicken dinner for you tonight. It was perfect timing with music. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, my gloves. They're glowing. <gasps> that powder in the ghost town. Whoa. Pussy. Oh my gosh. As per usual, ritual. Pussy, I got apples. Oh, oh dear. man. Oh, dear. Well, that's a drag. Oh. You saw the phantom horse again? Was anything sabotaged? The power lines going to the ranch house were either cut or were otherwise disconnected from the house. You mean you don't have electricity? We have a generator. It's pretty noisy, but it sure beats the alternative. Hmm. But listen to this. When I was exploring the ghost town, I got this powdery stuff all over my gloves. And last night, when it was dark, my gloves were glowing. <gasps> glowing? Like the horse? Exactly like the horse. Maybe it glows because someone rubbed some kind of phosphorescent powder all over it. And if you found that stuff in the ghost town, that must be where he or she has been hanging out. Wow. Well, the hangout place. Probably. 
Which is why I think I'll go back out there first chance I get. And another thing, Dave was suspiciously absent during all the excitement last night. You better be careful, Nancy. If he and whoever's out at the ghost town are working together, they may decide you're a threat. Uh -oh. I'll be okay. I'm more worried about you guys. Yeah, where are well, they the today? fog has finally lifted, and they say we will definitely get out of here today. What they won't say is when. That's it for now. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Bye, Nan. They won't say is when. Well, that's too bad. Hi. Stuff here. Yes. What can we check off? The chicken fence. Yeah. I'm finished with that. I haven't done that. Can't check that off Any yet. More. Can't can't Single. check that off. Why can't I click on my phone? I don't need that right now. Apparently we don't need it right Apparently now. Apparently we don't need it. <laughs> Alright, it's time to save our game. Yes. Glam Ragu. <laughs> it's the perfect title. Alright, everyone. Hi. So, thusly ends day two <laughs> of Nancy Drew, The Secret of Shadow Ranch. Yes. Tomorrow we pick up for the Valentine's Day finale with day three and giving away one more prize. Now, this video will be up on YouTube soon. Um, the day one took forever to get uploaded today, but it's up there right now. So um, from either today's stream or yesterday's stream, take a selfie of yourself with that in the background, the Twitch party, and send it to Facebook or Twitter or email us at contest at herinteractive.com Post your picture with the hashtag uh, ND Twitch. That's Nancy Drew initials. ND Twitch. And you'll be entered to be randomly selected as the winner for tomorrow's prize. You need to enter those pictures before we start the Twitch party tomorrow. Yes. And the, and the prize for that is also your pick of any one item from our Teespring merchandise store. And again, we have a bunch of new stuff, so there's already a bunch of great stuff to pick from. But yeah. now there's even more great stuff to pick from. So, what would you pick from the Teespring store? Put it in chat. I want to. I want to hear what would your big choice, if you could get for free one item from the merchandise store, what would that be? Because so that there. gamer blanket is pretty popular. Yes. And, and it's so kind of expensive too. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like it's it's really soft. Like it's they they do a good job with yeah. the blankets, so they they don't they don't skimp out on anything mm -hmm. there. But after you mentioned that that coof, like comfy the slouchy yes. sweater, yes. that yes. sounds amazing. Ooh, I so. want it. Yeah. Um, but I'm also working on sort of redesigning that gamer blanket to be portrait orientation oh, yeah. so you know right now it's currently like landscape so it's like long but it's gonna get the new nancy drew logo and silhouette on it so mm -hmm. it's gonna be all portrait and it's gonna be the same stuff Where were we? I think the Where audience coming in. Yeah. Where did we lose <laughs> what, you? What did we miss? What, what did you miss? <laughs> <laughs> did you hear us talking about the pattern design for purses? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Woo. Ready? No. no. <gasps> sound okay, because, no, no, yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, we were talking about, so there's a lot of new merchandise items in the queue that are coming soon. We still can't hear? Wait. We're still here. You can't yeah. hear? Can you hear us? Yeah, we're here. We good? Hello? Hello? 
Are we? You can. Are we okay. just quiet? Some of you can. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Anyway. Well, <laughs> I mean, if you're a prize winner, we'll reach out to you anyways. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, what do we have to say? Um, we have a winner to, to we announce. Winner. So we talked about the purses. Yep. Talked about everything else. Yep. Okay, okay let's get on to the yeah. winner for today. <laughs> So today, uh, the prize is also, of course, a Teespring merchandise item of your choice. And during intermission, we asked the trivia question, what is Francis's cousin's name? What is Francis's cousin's name? Now, we read in the letter that her name was Ellie. And just about everyone got that right. Mm -hmm. But we had to randomly select one lucky winner. And our randomly selected lucky winner is... Drum roll, everyone else is doing drum roll. Van Gogh Crazy. Woohoo! Congratulations, yes! Van Gogh Crazy. Which I'm pretty sure you're still here. Oh, there right are. there. Van Gogh Crazy, congratulations. Yay! You are randomly selected as our lucky winner. Yes. What we need from you is um, sometime this weekend, you, know, you got a little bit of time to pick any one item from our Teespring merchandise. You need to specify if it has a specific size or a color. You need to let us know that private message us whisper here in twitch to us your full name your mailing address and which prize you would like with the details of course mm -hmm. so congrats so thanks again and thank you, you everyone for playing congrats again and we'll stay tuned for the prize winner for tomorrow be sure to take yes. your picture your selfie yeah. of the twitch replay or the twitch stream mm -hmm. uh, and post it and don't forget about those awesome sales that are happening right now. Yes. And the Valentine's Day card contest, which ends tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. So We have a great podcast coming tomorrow, you yes. guys. Yes, we do. I, I don't want to spoil it, but it's cute. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. So be sure to subscribe to the podcast, Unlocked, the Nancy Drew podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Have a good night. We need to say our goodbye. You oh, yeah. It? Yes. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Yo, late. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>